What is up, you guys? As you can see, I got a little cooking apron on, and so does Brennan. Got a little special episode today, but every What's Up Wednesday special, of course. You guys know that. Brennan, what are we doing today? We're playing Master Chef trailer. It's like Master Chef, but in a trailer. So we got our own little cooking show we're doing today. We are doing walking tacos, right? Walking tacos, that's right, Zach. Heck yeah, so we're gonna go through the whole little process, whole little recipe of what we got. It's honestly a quick recipe. Feeds a huge family, super quick, and it's a cheap recipe as well. So you're not breaking the bank, but you're having some good food. So And it's all about convenience, and it's super convenient. Dang straight, so should we hop into that? Yep, let's go check it out. walking taco now that our meat is cooked and I did dish up a little beef over here just for uh, convenience purposes so first you'll get your bag of chips we prefer Doritos just because it's taco salad kind of goes really good with that so we'll add the beef over here we've got our ground beef we'll add that into first make sure your chips are crushed up or if you don't want to you don't have to some people like the, the more bigger style chips and stuff just one other thing real quick to make it a little bit easier for everyone we recommend just grabbing the big old bag of these normally like five bucks and you can get all these varieties of chips and it's honestly the meat goes with everything so I'll i'm on a diet uh, right now but i would take the cheetos because they're pretty bomb we too. do have a special <laughs> guest coming to try out these here in a minute so i'll it's let you continue though his palate's a little pro than ours, but uh, so we'll dish up the meat in here, and I like to crush the chips too, cause I like uh, we're all about the protein, so I like to get more meat in here than probably most everyone else. But uh, so we got the meat in the bag. So next, you grab your cheese, or if you want to do lettuce, whatever way. The cool thing I like about these is there's really no wrong way to do it. Uh, you kind of just do it how you want, and you can let lay all this stuff out, have the family dish up however they want. Then we're, we're gonna do the lettuce here. And that's the other cool thing that me and Zach really like too. And our dad is the one who actually kind of introduced us to this uh, growing up camping. Is that you feed a lot of people, it's super convenient, it's just in a bag. You eat it out of the bag and then you're good to go. You just throw it right away when you're done. Uh, cleanup's really easy. And then like I said too earlier, the cooking process of it's pretty easy as well. So we can get our tomatoes. I like tomatoes. You can get the whole tomato in there. Boom. Yeah, that's pretty much it. You're good to go. You can add sour cream too if you want. Uh, I don't really like sour cream, so uh, right there. So, so super uh, easy. We actually, our taste tester actually just showed up. So uh, you want to come check this out and uh, give it a good old taste and tell us what you think? Did, did I hear that your dad taught you how to camp or uh, cook camping? I don't think camping, but he ta definitely taught us how to cook. Actually, actually, the, the thing that is, so I'm married to Camping Kaisa. Trailer that's, Troy and Camping Kaisa. That's right, she's the master camping cook. But what do we got here? So this one's a nacho cheese flavor. It's okay. the, the beef. Uh, I put cheese and lettuce in there too. I did teach him how to eat. Um, I like it. That's actually pretty good, huh? That, not that, not that actually? Bad. Yeah. Chuck how good that is. He did a really good job on it, honestly. I, I'm not gonna lie, I had to have one right before this video, and I was sitting there like, oh my gosh, these are the bomb. So, super what, easy, super quick. What a great idea, right in the package, too. Right, that walking way. tacos. They call it the walking taco salad or tacos. So you can just walk around with that, eat it at the campsite, super awesome. I, super I, easy, and easy to clean up is the best part. It's no big mess. So. I tell you what, guys, I'll do the dishes since you guys make dinner. Deal. That's it's all paper. <laughs> okay, for the next part, this was actually Zach's idea, and this is awesome. It's super simple, really easy to do. Zach, do you want to explain to them what you're cooking yep, here? Yep, yep, yep. So I'll take over here. So we have uh, an awesome little dessert here, super easy to make, honestly. So you're just going to need to get a couple cans of peaches and white cake mix. Get yourself a decent sized baking pan not too small not too big and then you're just going to need some butter where is my butter? there it is all right so you're just going to need butter you will need a stick and a half i believe so i uh i do my recipe a little bit different some people do this 
all sorts of different ways, but this is how I like to do mine. Super quick, super simple. Um, I did see someone though out there on TikTok, I can't remember who the user was, but they did uh, Cinnamon Toast Crunch as a base on the bottom, which I thought was honestly super freaking awesome. So anyway though, so you'll just crack these open, like so. Dump these babies all in. So there we go. One and slip them up there. Let's get two. Hey, stay out of there. You always have the guy that has the samples of pieces. <laughs> Alright, so then you dump all those in there, and then as simple as just take your white cake mix. You're gonna take this out, and then let's see if I can. Alright, sweet. Alright, so then you're gonna take this and you're just gonna go ahead and dump this all over the top. Get that nice and evenly coated around. And I'm gonna show them real quick. Let me spread it out real quick just a little bit. Just so I'm spilling cake mix on the floor. If, it, if you're not making a mess, you're not having fun, so you gotta make a little bit of a mess. Everyone knows why you're capping, you're kind of messy. So, anyway, this is what this should look like. And then you're just gonna go ahead and take these butter squares. Well, not squares yet, but you're gonna take these and cut these into little squares. And I'm gonna do that. And I'm just gonna pause it real quick and then we'll come back and I'll have that done. All right, all right, I am covered in butter. Uh, we got this baby all done. So let me just show you that so you can see my butter squares right there. As you can tell, they're not that great. So uh, the butter's a little bit melted, but that's all right. So you're just gonna need a stick and a half. As you can see, I used half of this guy. So just cut those up into squares and put those right on top of your little cobbler. And then it's the cooking process. So we'll jump into that and we'll cook it a little bit and then we'll show you guys a little taste test. So. Peach cobbler's done. It looks really good. And how long do we bake it for? About 45 minutes? 45 minutes. So uh, that's when we set a timer for. We baked it at 350. Uh, and this was the final product that we got here. Let me just show you guys a little bit. My, I'm already digging into it. I can't wait. So I did have that little video clip of it coming out of the microwave though. So you did kind of get to see it there. So it's not actually a microwave, it's a convection oven, which it works as both, right? Yep. Sweet. So we convection cooked this and it's actually our first time doing a convection, convection cook on these, but man, these look amazing. So I'm super excited. Nice and crispy crust too. That's what a cobbler's all about. So we're excited. Ooh, that looks really, really good. Thank you. And you could even take it one step further and put some uh, ice cream on top. Vanilla ice cream would probably be awesome with this, but yeah, three-step recipe, super easy, and um, let's taste it, see how it tastes. Well, I, we ran out of silverware, so I'm gonna use this little knife here. But in camping, not all the time you have silverware. I'm gonna use my little knife too. We're related, we're brothers, so it's okay. Yeah, that's actually really, really good. Really crunchy. Surprise guest just busted. I don't know if you guys heard I'm the door open. Him. And it's Mike Paul. He's actually our service manager here at Legacy RV Center. We decided yeah. we needed a new per, uh, person with a new palate to come in and try the dessert. So, so uh, I usually really don't participate in things like these because these guys honestly can't cook. But <clears throat> I gotta say, this cobbler is pretty dang good. I'm impressed. <laughs> um, Mike approved. Yeah, absolutely <laughs> Mike approved. Just uh, eating with a knife is stupid, but. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like I said, we ran out of silverware, but. Uh, it's really good. Uh, I guess I guess these guys can cook a little bit. Yeah, yeah. especially inside this river stone. We can only cook when we're in trailers, so <laughs> we do the best cooking there. <laughs> Magic happens up camping, remember that. All right, Super guys. True story. Well, thank you guys for tuning in. Make sure to like and subscribe. This is our little cooking thing. We're gonna shoot for once a month to be doing these. So let us know what kind of recipes, what kind of things you guys wanna see, and we'll make it up. So Mike, you got anything to tune us out? Steaks. Have them do steaks. I, steaks. I want steaks. Okay, all right, we'll do some steaks. <laughs> all right, we'll see you guys later.